3D printing strategies to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Hornellsmeyer, and today we're going to talk about 3D printing strategies as an innovative technique to it's specifically used a lot and has been adopted by the manufacturing industry, but it's also available to a lot of other sectors for the advantages and the challenges I will share, as well as to set an example for how we can look at and apply different types of innovation. 3D printing is is absolutely positively an advance and an innovation that if it works for your sector would be something you want to take advantage of. It's like virtual, real, virtual reality, augmented reality, AI, uh, all kinds of other things that are out there. We want to have a framework within our business for looking at and, and asking ourselves, would this new technology, this innovation help us to supersize and grow our business? What are the advantages? What are the disadvantages? How could we make it work? And how are we going to look at it and test it and see if it's something we want to use to grow and build and supersize our business? So let's do this looking at 3D printing. I first got a little excited about 3D printing when my uncle in the aerospace industry, uh, he was a consultant for the aerospace industry, he's retired now, but uh, he loved and got excited about 3D printing, got a 3D printer and did all kinds of cool design things. He also used them for some of his hobbies and crafts for designing different woodworking things and, and uh, different projects he was going to do. And then my niece also got a 3D printer and was creating all of these little figurines for different um, games, like not Dungeons and Dragons, but the role-playing games. They created all kinds of little figurines and weapons and uh, vehicles and creatures. It was absolutely fascinating. And you, know, you, you print them out and then paint them. And 3D printing is just... Uh, it, it's in, I think it's fascinating because I love manufacturing, but it's a way of printing things out that makes a 3D model of, or it can actually manufacture products and versions and customize things for people. But it actually takes the digital design, usually designed on CAD for manufacturing, and then it prints it out with different materials in actual layer upon layer upon layer. And that's how it creates the actual physical thing that you can hold in your hand, which I also find fascinating. Uh, advantages. Let's talk about the advantages at specifically and the disadvantages of 3D printing. And we'll give some examples in some different industries that are using it really, really well. And to help stimulate our thinking and say, okay, well, could I use this in my business to design things? Could I have used it in the food industry? Uh, maybe to design packaging or something, but probably not ravioli or white sauce, <laughs> but it's applicable to many industries. Uh, Advantages of 3D printing is super duper fast, right? It's really fast to make prototypes and to make different versions of something and to iterate something. You know, we're always looking for ways to continually improve. Well, we, we get out our first model and we're like, oh, this isn't exactly right. Let's and tweak it. And then we just print another one. Uh, design freedom and complexity. You can be really, really specific and have all kinds of things that you could design. Anything you can imagine almost, you can find a way to 3D print. Reduce material waste. I don't know if you're familiar with manufacturing, but sometimes tools and dyes just to, to test can be hundreds or even millions of dollars depending on your industry and how specific your needs are. Uh, so 3D printing allows us to test out different molds and dyes and things for a, a, a small fraction of the cost it would normally be. Uh, on-demand production. You can actually manufacture and produce customized products for your customers, which allows you to customize and personalize and give them exactly what they want, depending on what your products and services are. Uh, challenges and limitations of 3D printing, of course, are limited materials and options and properties with, with respect to what you can do. I'm going to talk, I'm going to look up actually that there's, there's several types of 3D printing. I don't even know how to pronounce most of them, but uh, Based on the type that you're using, that'll determine the materials you can print with. Uh, through, each has its own unique strengths and applications. So, for example, fused deposit modeling, FDM, stereolithography, stereolithography SLA, selective laser synthing, SLS, and digital light processing, DLP, among others. And each technology offers different levels of resolution, different amounts of speed of how fast you can make them, material compatibility, um, allowing us as manufacturers to choose the best technology for what our application, what it is that we're doing. So, But there are limited. I mean, you can't do everything with it. Uh, Post-processing requirements, of course. And 
What I like about the challenges is they apply to pretty much every type of manufacturing you do or any innovation or anything that you do in your business, not just with respect to 3D printing. Uh, so post-processing requirements, of course, you've got to do something with it after it comes out of the machine. Uh, quality control and repeatability also applies to everything we do in manufacturing. Intellectual property concerns, that applies to pretty many, pretty most all industries as well as regulatory and safety considerations, right? I mean, all of those things are applicable to any type of business or to any type of manufacturing that we do, but they're just saying, okay, these are challenges specifically that we need to consider when we're doing 3D printing. So some of the industries that we know are using this really, really well, of course, the automotive industry, they can uh, customize and characterize and test out parts and, and make models and test them without having to go to the expense of creating huge production lines, molds and um, all the different uh, manufacturing equipment that we use to produce and manufacture cars. Uh, they can test out different um, different ideas that they have and see if they're actually physically feasible by using 3D printing. Aerospace and defense, again, my uncle was in that. Uh, they're using that because they can customize and again, they can test out and iterate and they can use materials and find things that are more precise, which is really important when you're building rockets and spaceships and things and, and weapons, I guess. I don't know much about weapons, uh, but you've got intricate geometries and things that you can design into your products and superior performing materials because they are more precise. And the healthcare industry, uh, I am an example of that. I've got an ICD and devices now are, are improving faster than ever imagined because they've got this technology available to test out and try different uh, type devices that are implanted in us human beings, as well as organs and different things they can manufacture to, to replace uh, things in medical care. So they're causing, they're using it for medical advancements and study and research as well. So I like 3D printing. I think it's fascinating, but I am a fan of innovation as well. Uh, so think today, is there a way that you could use 3D printing to speed up your processes, reduce your costs, uh, eliminate waste, uh, improve quality, improve time to market, customize products and services for your specific audience? I think it's a fun topic to think about. And then just keep in mind, like everything else, you have to do your research, you have to test it out, you have to think about the advantages and the disadvantages and if it's right for your customers and your business or not. All right, have an awesome day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.